In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to determine if vectors span in 3D space. Question one reads, determine whether the vectors v1, v2, and v3, with their components shown on the screen, span 3D space. Before we begin, let's discuss how we can actually test if a given set of vectors spans a given space, and it's three simple steps. The first thing that you have to do is write a general element in the space as a linear combination of the given vectors. I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. Number two, set up the corresponding linear system. And number three, check that there are at least one solution in the system, and there's two ways to do that. If it's a square matrix that you end up with, after setting up the matrix in number two, and you find it's determinate not to be zero, then there's a solution. Otherwise, you row reduce to check if the system is consistent. So let's start with step number one, write a general element. To do this, just like how we did when we were showing a linear combination of vectors, is you'll take v1, v2, and v3 and write them out as vectors multiplied to a scalar k. So we have the scalar k, k1, multiplied to the vector 2, 1, and negative 3, plus another scalar, 1 for each vector, this time k2, 0, negative 5, and 1, plus the third scalar, we'll call k3, multiplied to 6, negative 7, and negative 9. We will now make this equal to an arbitrary vector, which has the components a, b, and c. In step number two, we have to set up the corresponding linear system. And the way we do that is we equate k1 times 2 plus k2 times 0 plus k3 times 6 equal to a. And we'll do this for each letter, a, b, and c. So our first equation will be 2k sub 1. These two multiplied give you 0, so I'll skip that, plus 6k sub 3, and that's equal to a. Let's do the same thing now for the second component. So we have 1k sub 1 minus 5k sub 2 minus 7k sub 3, that's equal to b. And our last equation, negative 3k sub 1 plus k sub 2 minus 9k sub 3 is equal to c. We'll transform this into a matrix, and here's what you should end up with. 2, 0, and 6. Remember, there's no k sub 2 here, so we put a 0 instead. a, 1, negative 5, negative 7, and b, negative 3, 1, negative 9, and c. At this point, you could do row reduction, but since the coefficient matrix is a square, it's easier to check the determinant. And this is what I'm referring to. So this is our matrix, and the coefficient matrix is everything here. That's a square, 3 by 3 square. So let's find the determinant. Finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is not hard to do. In fact, I'll show you up here really quickly. I'll rewrite it first. So I've rewritten it in purple. And what you do is rewrite the two columns, this one and this one, right next to the last one. So 2, 1, negative 3, 0, negative 5, and 1. And you follow this trick, this little pattern, where you multiply the numbers in this diagonal plus the numbers in this diagonal plus the numbers in this diagonal, and you subtract by the product of these. So just to be clear, we're multiplying 2 times negative 5, that's negative 10, times negative 9, that's 90, plus the product of those, which is 0, plus 6 times 1 times 1, it's 6, minus the product of these. So the determinant of this matrix, which we can call A, so I'll call this A, the determinant of that is equal to 20. And since 20 does not equal to 0, we can conclude that this system is consistent for all A, B, and C, and therefore it spans. Let's move on to another question, question 2. We're asked if we have the vector v1 and v2, show that the set containing v1 and v2 does not span the set of all 2 by 2 lower triangular matrices. A lower triangular matrix would look like this. Let's say that that is A, B, and C, and this element is occupied with 0. So really quickly, I will 
set k1 as my constant multiplied to 2, 0, 1, and 1, plus k2, 1, 0, 0, and 0, and that should equal to a, 0, b, and c. One thing to be mindful of before we continue this is that a 2 by 2 lower triangular matrix in the form that we've shown needs at least three vectors in order to span. So right away we know, right from the get-go, that it will be inconsistent, but I will show you the steps that we used in the previous example to show it as well, to show that it doesn't span. So really quickly we have the equations A is equal to 2K1 plus K2. I'm essentially equating each element by element. And then we have 0 is equal to k sub 1 times 0 plus 0 times k sub 2. That equals to 0 anyway. b is equal to k sub 1 plus 0 k sub 2. And c is k sub 1 plus 0 k sub 2. So I can cancel these out right now. I don't need to really focus on them at all. And if we create our matrix just like we did before, we should have 2, 1, A, 1, 0, B, 1, 0, C, and this equation, I won't even write it as a row because 0 is equal to 0. Closing this off, we don't have a square matrix here, so we can't use the determinant method, but as you can see, if I subtract row 2 from row 3, and I use that to amend row 3, watch. 1 minus 1 is 0, that's still 0, and C minus B tells us that this row is inconsistent. And that's how you can prove that V1 and V2 does not span all 2 by 2 lower triangular matrices. And there you have it. That is how to determine if vectors span a 3D space.